the Republicans will control both houses of Congress for the first time in eight years. That's right. CBS News is projecting they have just won control of the Senate. The midterm elections are typically thought of as a referendum on the sitting president. America spoke loud and clear for the first time in eight years. The Republicans control both chambers of Congress. They have a lot of work to do in 2015. Welcome back to Midpoint. Pete Hoekstra rolled up his sleeves for 18 years in Congress, representing the second district in Michigan. He's the former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Representative Hoekstra, thanks for joining us here on Midpoint. Hey, great to be with you this last day of the year. How about that? Ready to celebrate yeah. 2015? Hey, I know you were celebrating a big victory for the Republicans in November. How do you think Americans view the GOP right now as we finish up 2014? Well, I think uh, Republicans have to assume that the American people are going to be skeptical. They hate Washington. Uh, they hate politicians. Uh, they've been disappointed by them. So uh, the American people are going to be skeptical. The Republicans have to step up to the plate. Uh, they've got to be positive, and they've got to get things done in Washington. How do they get things done? They've got a president, obviously, that's got a veto pen. So what specifically can they work on? And would you suggest that they compromise on some of their core values? Well, you never compromise on your core values. You may compromise to pass some legislation recognizing that it moves your agenda forward, but that the president may also get something out of the deal. But you never compromise on core values. They can get things done. They can obviously they've been passing stuff through the through the House for the last four years. Now what they're going to do is they're going to have an opportunity to pass stuff through the Senate. Uh, they're going to get off to a good start. Mitch McConnell has indicated uh, they're going to start with Keystone. Democrats will vote for that. They'll get to the 60 votes necessary to get past the filibuster, and uh, then they'll start making I think uh, you know some incremental changes to Obamacare. Uh, after they have a vote on uh, getting rid of it in total. But they will start making incremental changes to Obamacare. So I think the table is kind of set. They can get, uh, there's a number of issues where they can get to 60 votes in the Senate, put stuff on the president's desk, let him be the person that if nothing gets done in Washington, he's the one responsible. Representative Hoekstra, I don't know if you saw on Newsmax TV, uh, Newsmax.com earlier, they had the 16 presidential candidates in 2016. You can still check that out. Once again, Newsmax.com. All right, make some news for us. You're going to be 17 in 2016. You're going to run, right? Uh, I can. I'm a native-born Dutchman, uh, <laughs> oh. so uh, I'm, I'm excluded. I had the opportunity to serve in Congress. Uh, that's the highest federal office that I will ever be able to hold. But you know what? For an immigrant... That's not a bad deal. You've come a long way. That's great. Fantastic. All right. I do want you to handicap the race for us because they had everybody. They were talking about 16. I'm sure there are more than a come out of the woodwork. How do you right now handicap the race? Oh, I think the race is wide open. There's lots of great governors around. There's good people in the U.S. Senate. Uh, there's, you know, Jeb Bush, uh, a former governor. There are lots of good people out there. Uh, you've got Mike Huckabee. You've got the governors here in the Midwest, Mike Pence. Uh, John Kasich is a you know, personal friend of mine, the last guy to really lead the effort to balance the federal budget. You've got Scott Walker. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a very positive, constructive campaign between a number of these candidates to show the American people that Republicans have ideas, Republicans can govern, they've gotten things done at the state level, and that they will demonstrate over the next two years that they will get things done at the federal level. The table is set for Republicans to win the White House in 2016. Table is set, and a lot of Midwesterners, Scott Walker, you mentioned, John Kasich from your nearby Ohio. I want to talk about the president, though. He said he is challenging Republicans to governors, saying it's not enough to just grind government to a halt. Do you believe this time next year that Republicans will have governed and they'll have some legislation to show for it? Uh, I think they will. John Boehner is a master of getting things through the House of Representatives. He's got a larger majority uh, in the House, the biggest majority, I think, in 70 or 80 years for Republicans. Uh, you put that with Mitch McConnell. Uh, Mitch and uh, John Boehner, they are going to work together. I think they're going to have an excellent uh, working relationship, much like uh, Newt Gingrich and Trent Lott had in the 1990s uh, when Bill Clinton was president. They will put things on the president's desk demonstrating that they can govern. I think the, I think the pressure is going to move uh, to the White House as to whether the president uh, can actually govern and get things done. What's the number one issue? we got about 20 seconds that you would say Republicans should push through Congress this year. 
Well, uh, clearly anything to do with the economy, uh, Keystone, uh, tax reform, and rolling back rules and regulations to make business uh, be more competitive on a global basis. All right, there you have it. Advice from Representative Pete Hoekstra. Served the people of Michigan in the 2nd District, serving us right here on Midpoint on Newsmax TV. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you, Great to be you, with sir. you. Thank you. Happy New Year. I appreciate that. When we turn, the NSA surveillance program is exposed to the world and the president's controversial executive actions.